hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i did my last video but today i'm going to um, invite you to join me as i create my june um, weekly spreads so here i am updating my june 20 to 26 weekly spreads um actually i'm supposed to <laughs> update my um, weekly spreads every Monday but since we're in a semestral break and I don't really have anything um, that important to do for the week so I just decided to just do whatever I want to do yesterday but I end up doing chores and I'm just glad that I get to do things that I never get to do so anyways here I am using um, my old stickers um, I don't really know I've been saving it for some reasons but I started to um, notice that they're becoming so sticky and so difficult to take them off the sheet so I just want to use them as much as I can so please join me as I update my June 20 to 26 weeklies By the way, the stickers that I'm using here uh, are from the Limonk Stationery, I believe. And I bought this from our local um, bookshop or um, stationery shop. I believe they also have their official websites and also they have their official store, online store on Shopee and Lazada. So these are my one of my favorite stickers that I use in my um, journal as well. They are paper washi tape type stickers and I don't know, I, I can't remember where I got this from, maybe from random um, online shops. But um, these are my favorites too because um, they stick so well and they look so cute on my pages. So yeah. So here I'm just trying to fill in my task, chores, and a couple of appointments for the week. And like I said, we are on a semestral break and I don't have that much or a lot of things going on for the week. So I just decided to create my ideal week. So here I also included my uh, reading time, which uh, I would love to catch up on because I've been well I've been reading a few pages every day but it's not that much um, like as much as I wanted to so this week I'm going to include my nonfiction and fiction reads as well as my reviews and other stuff so anyways, here I am also using a Hobonichi style setup, which is a time block system so that I can basically divide my task for the day. Uh, that way I won't get so overwhelmed and um, even if I don't have a lot of important things to do at the moment, I still want to to prioritize my task, chores, and the things that I wanted to do.
So here I use the bottom part of my spread to write our meal plan for the day. So I used to have a different spread for meal planning, but this week I just decided to um, just write it at the bottom part of the page. Um, writing my meal plan also helped me save a lot. Um, that way I know what to prepare and that helps me um, avoid wasting food and also uh, wasting money. So I think that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful time and I hope you come back for more. Bye!